What's up guys? So today I thought I would show you how I'm going to be building a Thomas and Friends wooden railway layout um, for remakes mainly. I'm trying to decide whether it's going to be in this part of my room or this part of my room. But either way, it's, I hope it turns out well. And if you're wondering, I was away for midterms, but now I am back. And I can be in my room now since not really a lot is going on until I go back to school. So yeah. Alright, so I decided where the sheds are going to be and they're going to be right here. Um, this is the way that I'm going to do my sheds. I'm not going to use the big gray turntable, but I just need a manual adapter if I can find one. Um, here's one. There we go. And I think I'm going to maybe make it come out sort of... Well, I think I'm going to put the cold loader right here. Maybe start using some a switch that'll maybe go off somewhere else. Some curves that I have here. So I guess I will come back to you guys when I have more progress on the layout. All right, so I kind of now have a brief um, kind of overview of what this part of the layout is going to look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this track back around the sheds, make it go up two levels, and then connect to that top of that mountain over there. And then I'm going to make this track come down, connect to this switch. And then th these two are just going to be sidings. And I might as well, I'm not going to use them, I might as well just flip the turntable around that way so that there are more spots between the sheds. Um, and I think I'm going to have this line come through through a little crossing underneath the bridge and connect back over here and possibly make this bit the docks. Um, and I have one bit of the crossing. I just need to find the other bit. This mess here. female connector right here. Well, it looks like I'll need a curve. Um, there we go. And then a, I might move this right here so I can put a three inch piece right there. If I can find one. There it is. Put it right here. And then I will come back to you guys when this part of the layout is finished and I've started working on over there. All right, so I finished up this bit of the layout. I was able to connect the docks or the harbor to the shed, which connects to Gordon's Hill, which goes all the way down around to here. I'm going to be connecting these two and possibly adding in a switch, maybe like right here, possibly. Um, I'll need a mail mail connector right there, but I can do that. Um, and yeah, uh, it's really coming together. Um, so, it might be a little bit wrong on camera. So, it's going to go right here. And a mail mail. Right there, sorry, that wasn't in the frame. Uh, and only three inch. Two inch. Yeah, it's kind of pushing it. Maybe go down to a two inch. There we go. There we go. Um, and then I want to somehow connect these two lines 
Um, we're gonna be using a smaller. I can find one. There we go. Uh, and then it looks like we'll need a four inch right there, which I can do that. Here we go. Yeah, that works. Um, and then I think I might either end this off in a bumper or I want to make like a little small yards like right in this area like one of my three one of my three-way pieces like, here we go right here and then uh these two and then these two connecting going around and connecting over to those two like maybe a few destinations along the way but it's really coming together i might even expand it out a little bit more over here um yeah I will you guys I will come back to you guys when I feel I'm at a good place to update. Well that took shorter than expected. I was actually able to finish the layout. And here it is. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I'm glad that I finally have a yard for a layout. I have enough track for that. And yeah, I mean it needs detail and some engines, but I guess um I'll go ahead and put those on and come back to you. And the layout is finally finished. And so here it is. I was able to add several engines, as well as some rolling stock, and some trees, and signal boxes. So yeah, I really like this layout, and I like the way it turned out. So yeah, guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and more videos to come in the future. And I'll